The legacy of Siaka Stevens, the leader of Sierra Leone from 1967 to 1985, has left a lasting imprint on the nation, but not all of it is positive. This leader's decisions, particularly the closure of the railway and the Toma Bum Rice project, had far-reaching consequences on the economic situation of the country. Stevens' belief was that if these establishments were operational, they would strengthen the economic position of his political opponents and potentially jeopardize his own power. In the book Why Nations Fail by Darren Akamoglu and James A. Robinson, these actions are analyzed, shedding light on the long-term repercussions of such political maneuvers. The closure of the railway and the rice project has since led to a struggle for the transportation of goods from rural to urban areas and has exacerbated food insecurity across the nation. These decisions, made in the interest of holding on to power, have had a profound impact on Sierra Leone, leading to struggles with transportation of goods and food insecurity. A clear example of how the choices of those in power can ripple out, affecting the lives of the many for years to come. The closure of the railway and the Toma Bum Rice project were strategic moves by Stevens to weaken his political opposition. They were not decisions made with the welfare of Sierra Leone in mind, but rather to consolidate power. Stevens believed that if these establishments were operational, they would bolster the economic strength of his opposition, potentially threatening his hold on power. The immediate effects were devastating. The closure of the railway disrupted the transportation of goods from rural to urban areas, crippling the national distribution system. The shutdown of the Toma Bum Rice Project, on the other hand, led to food insecurity. A country once known for its agricultural abundance was now struggling to feed its people. In the long term, these decisions had a detrimental impact on Sierra Leone's infrastructure and economy. Without a functioning railway system, the country's ability to transport goods efficiently was compromised. And without the Toma Bum Rice Project, the nation's food production capacity was significantly reduced. This was not just about the downfall of two establishments. It was about the systematic weakening of Sierra Leone's infrastructure, a result of political maneuvering and power plays. Sierra Leone has been left to grapple with these decisions, with a struggling economy and weakened infrastructure. Stevens' political maneuvering led to a weakened infrastructure and a struggling economy, a legacy that Sierra Leone is still grappling with today. The All People's Congress Party, under the leadership of Siaka Stevens and Joseph Saidu Momo, played a significant role in the destruction of Sierra Leone's social and economic fabric. Their policies and actions were characterized by corruption, exploitation, and a distinct lack of foresight. Stevens, for instance, shut down the railway and the Toma Bum Rice Project, a move that was more about depriving his political opponents than enhancing the nation's welfare. The closure of these establishments had a domino effect, weakening the economic situation of the opposition and, by extension, the entire country. It severely hampered the transportation of goods from rural areas to urban centers, leading to a crisis in food security that persists to this day. Under Momo, the APC continued to implement policies that were detrimental to the nation's prosperity. The lack of proper infrastructure and the crippling of key economic sectors have left the country in a constant struggle to develop and provide for its people. The legacy of the APC's leadership under Stevens and Momo is one of missed opportunities and sustained hardship for the people of Sierra Leone. Their actions have left an indelible mark on the country's history and continue to cast a long shadow over its development efforts. The APC's policies and actions under Stevens and Momo have been a significant factor in Sierra Leone's ongoing struggles with development. Sierra Leone continues to grapple with the consequences of the decisions made during Stevens' leadership. The closure of the railway system and the Toma Bum Rice Project, once vital lifelines for the country, have left indelible scars. These actions were not without consequence. With the absence of a robust transport network, the movement of goods from rural to urban settings has become a Herculean task. This has in turn stunted growth and development, especially in remote communities. Moreover, the discontinuation of the Toma Bum Rice Project has triggered a crisis of food insecurity. Once a nation with the capacity to feed its people, Sierra Leone now grapples with the spectre of hunger on a daily basis. The decisions made under Siaka Stevens' leadership and carried forward by Joseph Saidu Momo have not only dismantled the infrastructural fabric of Sierra Leone, 
but have also undermined its ability to thrive and progress. The country's struggle for development is not merely a fight against poverty and underdevelopment. It is a battle against the legacy of decisions made in the corridors of power. Decisions that have had a ripple effect, touching every aspect of Sierra Leonean life. Sierra Leone's struggle for development is a stark reminder of the long-lasting impact of political decisions. A legacy of the administration of the All People's Congress under Siaka Stevens and Joseph Saidumomo.